It's April 30th, 2022, and the Western Carolina Sailing Club, along with Women on the Water, or WOW Committee, hosts the last year of the Diva Regatta. SV Finding Eden enters the race with new crew and a flock of friends. Pink Pandemonium envelops Finding Eden in fabulous feathers. We are competing against 14 other sailboats in a friendly race where fun is front and center. Join us as we balance between fair winds and no winds and might even pirouette about a buoy. Will we make it back with our flock? Who will win this race? It'll be a miracle if we, if we, if we cross the finish line. <laughs> We are close to finishing. Scarlet's <laughs> never quit. Woo! Oh, yeah. of the Diva Regatta and I'm really excited for an awesome day. We're going to be the Flying Flamingos today, so we may not win the race, but we're going to look good doing it. <laughs> we were at the club bright and early. We brought SV Finding Eden from our mooring to D-Dock to start decorating. This was an all hands-on project to transform her with streamers along the lifelines, flamingos at the bow and aft, flamingo inflatables, and all things pink. We wanted to be bold and stand out like flamingo divas. This regatta was a low key race where the primary objective was to engage women and girls to get out and sail, but most importantly, have fun. The course would be a distance race with pursuit start and only one marker to pass. Our crew was actually formed when we met each other for the first time that week at a women on the water committee meeting. We had a boat and needed expertise and crew. The regatta would be governed by the racing rules of sailing 2021 to 2024, and there would be three fleets, including an all diva boat, diva at the helm, and diva as crew. And we are women on the water. We're going to have an all diva boat. That means diva at the helm and a few other me crew members today. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be on the water for a very long time. Hopefully, we make it back. Hopefully, we don't run aground. Let's have fun. We're really hoping to win the Diva Spirit Award, which <laughs> I think we will. I mean, I just feel so famous in these big, huge, giant, fluffy feathers. We had fun with this and put a lot of effort into our theme and decor, but we were met with some pretty stiff competition for the Spirit Award. May the best Diva win! We checked in up at the clubhouse, received our meal tickets, and gathered on the porch for the skipper's meeting where our WOW Women on the Water Chair, Allison, reviewed the rules and gave further racing instructions. Port starboard. <laughs> so we've got boats on opposite tacks. We've got boats on opposite tacks. Okay. It answers the question, if the wind is coming over the port side of the boat, that's a port tack. If the wind is coming onto the starboard side of the boat, that's a starboard tack. Oh, thank you. Now I have wind. I brought the wind. <laughs> okay, turn it on out there. Right. Out there. Starboard, stand on. Hold your ground. Starboard has the right of way in that situation. Port needs to stay out of the way. Where boats are on the same tack. All right. It might look like this. It might look a little bit more like that. Those boats are on a collision course, but they are both on what tack? Port, port. port tack. All right. See, they learn very quickly. Um, so they're both on a port tack. 
This boat is upwind. It's getting the wind first. It's called the windward boat. This boat is downwind. It's called the leeward boat. The acronym for that is windward woe. This guy's got to yield and give this guy room to get on through. <coughs> and last but not least, don't hit anybody. Hit anybody. <laughs> we are headed to the dock. Off to the races. Flying Flamingos! We headed out towards the starting marker and the race committee boat with plenty of time before the race started. This race was a pursuit start, so the slowest boat started first with the rest of the boats given a time delay. We were the second slowest boat registered. The wind was still sleeping and the race committee boat would determine which marker we were headed towards when they got out there and closer to the start. We needed to know which marker they chose so we knew which time delay to use. We thought this was super important, but little did we know what was coming next. Right now we're trying to use the binoculars Hello. to take a look at the race boat to see whether what buoy we're going to because our time delay will depend on what buoy we're going to. All right, we motored up close to the race committee boat and we can now see that we're going to S12 and there are no other markers that we have to worry about today for this race. Just through the starting line and on to S12. We are about to start the Diva Regatta in a few minutes. So the horn has already blown and we unfortunately got ourselves positioned a little far out from the race committee boat that we're supposed to be passing and there's like no wind out here. So we're doing everything we can. Oh, we're going to have to attack again because there's no wind. Watch out for the boom. And we're just trying to get to the starting line that we should have already passed. We're doing what we can. <laughs> It'll be a miracle if we, were, if we, if we cross the finish line. <laughs> we may not cross the starting line, but we will never go hungry. <laughs> Getting ready to enjoy my nutritious lunch. Very happy to have it. As we seem to be stranded out here tomorrow. <laughs> I'll break into the beverages. <laughs> All right, we have a uh, free chicken salad on uh, everything bagel tops. We have cucumber sandwiches on pumpernickel, and we have tomato cheese on sourdough. We're racing. We're racing before the the starting line. <laughs> Can you do some editing to make it look like we're? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be fast. Oh, look how fast we're going. Oh man. <laughs> Principal music, and it'll seem like we're just really moving. That's right, that's right. We're going! Sorry, we'll leave you behind! We got a little bit of wind. We're gonna take advantage of it. We have found the wind! We're getting ready. This is exciting. <laughs> I could feel. I feel it's gonna happen. The start. We are talking about the start. We're not talking about the finish. We're talking about the start. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see the race committee boat is just right out where Eva point to it for me. Oh, do you see it? Oh, and I see, look, there's the buoy we're supposed to cross. Three, two, one. Woohoo! It's 12:47. It's uh, 43 minutes past our start time, and we are finally the Flying Flamingos. Back where we're we started. Back where we started. <laughs> we're taking a look at our program here to see where our next target is, and it's the only target, so that's good. And we've got some wind, look at that. All right, now we're actually working on sail trim. We are on a starboard tack. <laughs> Professional sailing. One leg, one drink. 
We've got our wow flag flying. Look at those feathers flying. <laughs> On the other boats. We're with the other boats. Yay! <laughs> now we're just gonna try to do what they're doing and follow right behind them. That's our strategy. It's a good strategy. Oh yes, and yeah, throw feathers. I knew it would be multiple season. Yes. Losing steering again. There's no wind. Just when we think we're going. It stops. We got, we lost wind and we got too close to an island and we are trying as hard as we can to just move it away. Okay, I got my steering back. All right, here we go. Tighter air in. Is that, tr that can't be true. That The wind would have shifted completely around if that was true. Yeah. Well, we did what we wanted to do, but not the way we wanted to do it. <laughs> well, and we uh, avoided collision, so that was good too. These waves like to push me around here. All right, we see the marker that we are supposed to pass on port, and so we are getting closer and closer and closer. Uh, now we are trying to determine strategy. Do we tack more often, or do we go as far as we can and only tack once? she be the buoy that we need to pass we just need to keep and pass her on the port all right we have um, we're having to really tighten her up as close close hauled as we can and actually into the irons a little bit so we might just drift to port around this buoy and Anna's up front and she's using our pole here Whoop. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. sorry sorry I got nothing, sorry. We're gonna turn around now. <laughs> we just lost it and stalled out. What just happened? I just, I don't know if the wind shifted or... No, we gotta turn around, so, yeah. Just hold it on that side, Anna, and then, um... <laughs> I think we just stalled out and I lost all control. I think somebody was making concentrate on their YouTube channel. <laughs> guilty, 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 guilty. You're wet in front of the camera. Uh, yes. Hello, hello, we're here. We're gonna make an entrance. I'm trying, I'm trying. I, I, I'm literally got this thing all the way over and it's not moving. Yeah. I'm so glad that they didn't have a marker. <laughs> We're about to make it! Oh, come on. We're gonna kiss it. Yes, <laughs> 12. That's how old come on. We're being pushed into it. No, no! attempting wing on wing in light winds, which is a nightmare. We are moving about 
four knots, which is great because we had been doing 0.5. So at this point, if we keep the speed, we'll be there in 91 minutes. Not cool. It is also super hot because we're going with the wind. We feel no wind. Man, it's hot out here. We are only two buoys away, but the wind is not very strong. We are going, but at 1.3 knots, we're doing our best to keep wing on wing, which is not easy. We've got two ladies sitting up, trying to keep the um, main sheet out and the Genoa out as best as we can, just to get some speed over ground. So this being your first race, what do you think? Is this for you? You like racing or are you more like a cruiser? I usually don't go out unless it's about eight or 10 knots. So, <laughs> <laughs> I look at the wind finder forecast and if it's not gonna be a windy day, it's like, no, we're gonna do something else. <laughs> we like it when these speedboats go by us because <laughs> it's actually propelling us forward. Are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. <laughs> first race? She's thinking first and last. First and last? <laughs> Lisa, is this your first race? First race too? Oh, we're all green divas. Look at that. All right, the wind shifted in our favor and we were able to switch over to a beam reach. We see the finish line. Woohoo! So we were all green divas on this boat. None of us have raced before, and we had a really, really hard start, <laughs> to say the least. But we see the finish line, so that's an accomplishment. We're about to pass the finish line, but there's no race committee. There's no one to cheer us on, and that's just rude. <laughs> the buoy! The buoy! Number 20. It's documentation, it's proof, it's S20. We are past it, ladies! Woo! We did it! We did it! <laughs> Don't stop believing! The flying flamingos have finished the race. Well, the race had been called 90 minutes after the first boat crossed the starting line, hence no race committee boat. Everyone had already gone in about 35 minutes prior to us rounding the last marker and we're enjoying the festivities. We would have made it too if we didn't cross the starting line 43 minutes after our start time, but we're all glad to be back and ready for an Italian dinner and an award ceremony. We have three divisions. We had all the above. We had Diva at the Helm, which was our most popular uh, division, and then Diva as crew. We also had a large number of juniors First announced was Diva at the Helm, third place Jennifer Baker, second place Sandy Price, and first place Christine Neff. Thank you to my girls who are with me, you to my girls who are with me, and very much to, to George Masoni, who is helping me with the boat, and to my husband Dan for his guidance. For Diva as crew, Maggie Ruth and Bridget Neff came home with third place, Michelle Cooper in second, and Bella Reagan in first. Says, inspire the woman, impact the world. That's awesome. We're going to actually do this in reverse order. In first place was Allison Fontenot. We are going to actually give a second place, even though this boat didn't get a time. They ran out of time. They didn't finish, but the pro voted already. Yeah. So, yeah. second place goes to Emily Silo.
Well, the Diva Regatta is officially over and we learned a lot of good lessons, hard lessons. However, because of where we were in our class, we still came home with second place. Uh, which was fun and very nice of them to do that for us. <laughs> so even though we didn't get a time because we didn't finish on time, I would still say that we all had a great time. And we got the award of the Spirit Award and the award of New Friendships Born. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, we hope the wind fills your sails. There are pink feathers all over my boat.